tomorrow could be a real prickly pear. Meteorologist Kelly Green is following in our first forecast. Oh, Matt, this is a delicate dance of a forecast, let me tell you. We are still really tweaking the snow that we'll see later on tonight into tomorrow. But looking from our Bunker Hill camera, you can see we do have some clouds overhead, some blue sky, and of course some snow already on the ground. We are going to add on to that later on tonight into tomorrow, and then we'll see a lot of it melting tomorrow afternoon. So here's a look at our satellite radar. The environment very dry, so we're trying to saturate it with some moisture in the upper level. So we're starting to see some snow falling in southern Indiana. This is going to eventually move a little bit farther to the north, and that will bring us some snow later on tonight. Temperatures right now in the upper 20s and low 30s, 31 degrees right now in Shelbyville, Muncie 29, Kokomo at 26 degrees. A little cool there right now with those overcast skies, as you can see from our channel, uh, our camera network, and those temperatures just hovering near that freezing mark. But goodness, when we look at the 24 hour comparison, we are running 10 plus degrees warmer in many locations than yesterday at this time. So that is an improvement. But here's a look at future track as we go hour by hour here. We'll start to see some chances of some snow moving in later this afternoon, and then it becomes likely later on tonight. So t the high today will be around 32 degrees, certainly warmer than yesterday as we gradually warm up this week, but snow does become likely anytime after 5, 6 o'clock this evening. And we do have a winter weather advisory that's in effect. And again, a lot of this is covering that I-70 corridor. This is where we think the best chances of seeing some more that accumulating snow will be, and it does, of course, include include Indianapolis. So as we go through the evening hours, we'll start to see the snow chances increasing. And as we pause this at 730, you can see the snow starting to push in a little bit closer towards that Indianapolis area. As we go in the overnight, that's when I do think we'll see the steadier snow and increasing with some bursts of heavier snow as well after midnight right through that morning drive time. So this is at 6 a.m. We'll see some pockets of heavier snow developing, and we could also see it mixed in with a little bit of freezing rain, and that is because we're going to see a little bit of a warm inversion in the upper levels, allowing some of this snow to actually melt a bit before it makes its way to the surface, and that can cause some of that liquid to freeze on these surfaces that are below the freezing mark. So that's definitely going to be an, a, a problem for tomorrow morning. We'll continue to monitor that for you. But for the most part, we do expect to see around three to, excuse me, one to three inches possible out of the storm system. The better chances of the snow will develop after midnight tonight through about six o'clock in the morning. So as we uh, get into tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see things improving. In fact, some of that snow is going to melt. Temperatures will climb to around 40 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we get into Saturday, another storm system pushes in. This one is going to allow warm air to push in and some showers. Rain will be the main story as temperatures soar into the mid 50s by Saturday afternoon. It's also going to be a breezy day with those winds picking up out of the south, sustained between 15, 25 miles per hour. We could see gusts on Sunday around 45 miles per hour, so something we're going to continue to monitor for you for this weekend. For today, we'll see those temperatures around 32 degrees, some scattered snow showers this afternoon, becoming more likely late tonight into tomorrow morning. High of 40 degrees tomorrow afternoon. The rain moves in. All of that snow will melt as temperatures climb to 55. We'll get up to 50 on Sunday. High pressure will dominate central Indiana for several days. So next week, we're not looking for any more rain until the middle of the week. Matthew?